Well, sports can be a very powerful force in a young person's life. Teaching, teamwork, and also how hard work can pay off. It's really something that's more important than ever these days. And that's because teenagers continue to deal with mental health challenges left over from COVID and violence and the influence of toxic social media, something we've talked about. Mm -hmm. I'd like to introduce you to this nonprofit called The Base. It's hitting a home run when it comes to helping young people navigate these complicated times. It's practice time at the base. Behind the glove and behind the baseball. It's a fun, really fun. Great, get to meet new people, new faces, different people's cultures, their backgrounds. A love of baseball brings more than 900 young people between the ages of 6 and 19 to this facility in Roxbury, not far from Mass and Cass. Sebastian Gutierrez, a Dorchester freshman, is a regular here. I play third base and catcher. All right, you got a good arm then. Yeah. Hours spent on drills means less time being bored or worse. It gets you out of trouble. Like, we're in a neighborhood where, like, a lot of stuff can happen, bad things, and I think that this program and this sport can help you get, get you out of that. There are a lot of big league dreams here every day. I would love to play in college, maybe go pro one day, you know. Reaching those goals is based on more than just talent. Youth sports in general have become specialized and expensive, meaning parents who can pay for club teams and college showcases give their kids an advantage. So this program is very transformative for a lot of our participants. That's because the base is free for everyone. And that's where we're level the playing field. Steph Lewis is the president and CEO of the base. He's also an alum of the program. Those intangibles, with the lessons you learn in sports, they're, they're so transferable and they apply to everything. The base wants to develop mental toughness, teach teamwork and provide exposure to educational and work opportunities. We are a free program, but nothing's given. So in order to be able to participate, we do ask you to participate as part of our college access programs. We do ask you to participate in our health and wellness initiatives. We do ask you to participate in our career development program as well. You learn how to get financially stable, get into careers, colleges, different things like that. Alberto Taveras says the base is already changing his life. It changed me mentally because when I was younger, I was pretty lazy. Now I'm just hardworking. Lewis loves that so many alums come back to coach in the program, like Luis Atiles, who now plays professionally for the Brockton Knockouts. Being able to put me on college tours at an early age and stuff like that definitely helped me out a lot and helping my and giving me a mindset of what I really wanted to be um, during that time. Coming here kept him on track. He wants the same for a new generation of young players. Yeah, I just try to come back and help the younger kids, and my, which I consider like my little brothers. Love this. Generations helping generations. The base just had some exciting news. They were able to purchase their building in an adjacent lot, which will allow them to continue expanding their services. In recent years, they've added a basketball and a softball program. And I just want to reiterate, the program is free and open to anyone in the area.